marital relations. But first, the programme. Yes, and it's a story of fraud and hardship, which all began last July when old age pensioners, Mr. and Mrs. Tyke, an intelligent couple, decided to buy a television set. Unfortunately, they had trouble with the set from the very start. All they got every time they switched it on was Terry Wogan. They complained to Mr. Hart, the man who sold them the set, who rapped back saying, Tough chitches. So they wrote again, saying they were fed up to the teeth. I know how they feel. Fed up to the teeth, seeing programmes compared by smug Irishman, Mr. Hart replied, Lay off, you pair of grizzling geriatrics. If you write again, I'll come and chuck a brick through your window. Well, they did write again. And Mr. Hart replied... <laughs> by now, the tight household has been driven to distraction by the constant barrage of Wogan. The cat had started purring with an Irish accent. The budgie never stopped singing the floral dance. And even the goldfish smiled a sickly smile every time it opened its mouth. Yes, life had become unbearable for the tykes. They telephoned me and asked me what position I was in to help them. And Esther replied, At 11 o'clock on a Saturday night, what bloody position do you think I'm in? <laughs> but, after a bit, I decided... <laughs> I decided to help them and went next day to call on Mr. Hart. Who's that? Esther Ratbag from Max Tuff. Mr. Hart, I'd like to talk to you about the television set that you sold to a um, member of the public earlier on this week. Get stuff, Bugs Bunny. the television centre. I got on the phone straight away to Mr. and Mrs. Tyke. I said to them... Why don't you twittering morons get stuffed? <laughs> and if any other complaining whingers are watching, why don't you write to Jim will fix it and leave me alone? And finally, Cyril? And finally, Esther. I'm indebted indeed to a lady from Sheepy Magna who penned There once was a fellow called Cyril who one day dressed up as a squirrel. Now he's sick to the guts, as someone nicked his nuts. And now all his friends call him Sibyl. <laughs> Esther. Well, that's all we've got time for. Thank you for watching. Say goodnight, Cyril. Good night, Cyril. And from me, Esther Ratbag, it's time to say... Good, Good night. night. And God hit a heat, so I haven't finished with you yet. You're loading face, load of back dropping. <laughs> 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 <laughs>